Hey guys, how are we all going today? So, what are we going to do today? We're going to start a new episode. Okay, let's go on our farm. There we go. Hello. Now, let's go into this. There's a, oh, we get a kitty cat today. Look at it. Now I have installed some mods as well, so it makes it a little faster and easier to show you guys and for me to be able to play through. We're going to name this cat after my cat, Patches. Who's Patchy? I'm sure we will take care of Patches, won't we? So basically my mods I've got on here allows me to do my crops faster as you know in my previous episodes it took forever just to pick up the harvest of crops now all I just got to do is decipher of them and my watering can is now I don't ever have to fill out my watering can again thank god because that takes it takes a long time to water these crops now I could just use my item spawner mod just to spawn myself some um, sprinklers, but not at the moment. As we haven't got really got a farm system set up at the moment. The other mode, the other one I have on here is, let me just, come on. There we go. All right. Let's get rid of these. We don't need these. Put the potato in there. Alright. The other thing is, I have a mod that allows me to basically chop my trees faster. As you can watch. Just watch. There you go. Two hits and I take the tree down because it takes forever just cutting trees down. But I'm late. I'm. How you put it? I don't want to wait too long to chop things down. I just want to get it chopped down. Done with. And boom. Done. Done. And that's that area cleared. You know, tell me what areas you guys actually want me to put my stuff. I mean, this area I was thinking of putting the animals. But. Yeah, comment below which areas I should use for which certain items and what I should name all my animals because there's pigs, there's cows, there's goats, chickens, ducks, um, a bunch more, a lot, to, a lot of animals. So we might be able to start making our farm look pretty after this too. We'll go down to the mines. See if I can get some ores. Upgrade our tools. As well. I can turn the mods off at any time if I wish. As well. So I don't have to play with all the mods all the time. It's just convenient. And faster. It's just clearing all this off. Get rid of all this forestry stuff. And we also can clean up the town and all the forests and get rid of all the weeds. That makes the town look nicer as well. So we still need to upgrade our tools because. We can't find those things up. I mean, this is another little area as well. I just lost half my items in the water then. Good job. 
And I need to work on getting some more money. So I can get a bigger storage bag as well. So I guess that's what I'll be doing. Today. More money for a bigger bag. More money for more seeds. Because it's always good to have more seeds planted to make more money. But I need to go. Put my items in a ch these chests and eventually have a proper sorting system as well at the moment they're just kind of everywhere yay that's so this is another little area I can put animals as well there's a seed there or trees put tree farm there Maybe. See what I mean about inventory space. Now I don't want to get rid of all this stuff. All the grass. Because later on. We need to be able to. Harvest that to get wheat for the feed for the animals as well. I'll sort all these chests out later when I have off screen time. Because right now I'm a bit lazy and sorting it out. It takes to, it takes time. I might set up a proper sorting system area as well. So feel free to send me a message on Discord every now and then. Say hi. If I don't always respond, then spam me till I do. Just joking. I do work. I do other stuff as well. As I said, that server I mentioned on Minecraft. On my previous episode. MMOs. I do moderate on there as well. I really want to get rid of these logs and tree stumps. I could cheat and give myself a op pickaxe so um axe, should I say, to do it properly but to get rid of them faster but nah, that's cheat. That's just the cheats. And it kind of spoils the fun of it. The grinding. I mean, I know I'm cheating by having faster mining speed and chopping down speed right now, but it's so much faster. And you notice my walking speed is a little bit quicker than last few episodes because I've had a bit of a speed, a bit of a walking speed client as well. La 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 chopping 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 any more any more Yeah I think we oh there's a tree. Totally walk past that. Okay, I think we're done. Yay. Alright. Okay, let's go to town. I know most places are closed, but I'll pick up all this stuff while we're going. We can chop these trees down eventually too, but they just grow back. They all grow back at some stage. Mm. 
any more foraging stuff we can pick up. Hi. Oh, look, we can go visit. Hi, Sebastian. Potential person. Can I come through, please? Thank you. Ah, there's... Probably. Well, we didn't see this bit here, here the other day. Which leads to absolutely nothing. We can actually chop these things, trees down here too. And they fall in the water anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I lose half our loot. Tree loot. See? Look, we can go into there. We can also... There's a um, horseradish. So that's the guide. But... Ventures only, because we haven't entered the mines yet. Alright, well, let's eat. Can't really eat anything. Let's get rid of the sap. There we go. Alright, let's head home. So I'll pause my recording. So you guys don't need to go th see me go through all the walking home part again. Okay guys, so we're back at the farm. Okay, so let's put our stuff in here. So I believe our quest requires one of them. We don't. We need a leak at some stage. I think it's a horseradish. Let's just put them in there for the sake. That one goes in this chest. There we go. Ta-da! All right. Well, we may as well just. Oh no! We're getting attacked by another bat. Die. You also notice I've actually got full health. It's another mod part perk. Also. And any mobs that attack me basically gets one hit because I'm a terrible PvP player. As most people will tell you. I'm terrible at battling people. Alright, well, let's go check our spring onions over this way. Let's see if we've got any more that have grown. La 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 la. And there. And there. Yep, got two here. And there. None down there. Okay, let's head home again. Okay, we're back home again. Let's just put these items in our chest. Then, go sleep. And then tomorrow, those patches sleeping. She's so cute. Level 2 farming. Yay. Yay. Foraging level 3. And yay, we got 600 coins. Oh, mail! Poor things, nearby, downwards. Down the few wakes. Oh! We'll go visit Marnie. And missing axe, Robin. Okay. Let's go visit Marnie. I mean, it's a little early, I think. 
she might not be open yet. Yeah. All right. So let's let's go get Marnie's axe. Ah, oh, Robin's axe. Sorry, which is down here. It would be over in this corner. There it is. And there's horseradish. Okay. Yep. Press all the other buttons. Oopsies. Alright, let's head back home. Oop. Let's pick up these onions while we're here. Any more down here. Okay. Head home. Head to Robin's place. We'll head back to Robin's place. Sorry, I had my game frozen before. Okay, the time. The timer. I put the timer on frozen. I had to quickly go do something so I had to pause the recording in my game. There we go. Well, wait, we can go see Marnie. Hi, Jazz. Not supposed to talk to strangers. Still smart kid. Hi, you said you had a new friend for me. Ah, so we need to actually get stuff. Money shop is supplies. Just animals, which we don't, can't get at the moment because, yeah, we need to, oh, here's a cutscene. Of course that smells, it's a sewage jazz. <laughs> Ew, why would you want to explore it? Gunther is the guy at the um that runs the archaeology muse museum thingy building. There you go, runs the museum. Old key fall out of his pocket one time. Okay, so yeah, I have to let's go do some other stuff. Okay, let's do this again. Put them in there. Oh, don't need them in there. I don't really need to keep these either, but. We'll keep them. So, let's go down to... Oh, we better water our crops. Always water your crops every day. Otherwise, they'll never grow. Bye-bye crops. So we need to work out a better farm system as well. Boom, 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 da, da. There we go. All right, let's head to Robbins. Okay, here we go. We're at Robin's. The door. Hi, Robin. Got you an axe. Your axe. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I always chop my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. 
You're welcome. All right, let's head to the mines. Show the mines. Well, we haven't met this guy yet. Minus. Hmm, do you want something from me? Whoops, let's just attack him with our pickaxe. <laughs> Another cutscene for you guys. The pirate guy. Him. Hmm. So just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably a good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for a long, t so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Yay! A rusty old sword. I should probably get a better sword. Marlon, by the way, he runs the adventures guide right outside. Now you prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. This is in mines. We can't use the elevator till we get there. We can't use that, remember? Alright, well. We'll go exploring the mines, shall we? Okay guys, let's go, let's go to the mines. Sorry, I had to pause and come back again. Alright, level one. Oops, better turn my time back on because I've frozen the time because I paused my game. Alright, so basically, now we've got to find the stairs to actually go down to the next level. Where is it? Oop, there is the stairs. We need to get all the copper ores as well. We need to get all the ores we can. There's some. Nope. Oop, there's, there's creepy things. There we go. We gotta get all these ores as well. I'm gonna find the stairs. I recommend when you go to mine. Oop, there's a crab again. When you go to mine, find the stairs first and then finish what you're doing. That way, at least you got a guarantee that you got, yeah, you can go down to the next level. Another slime. There's the stairs. The geo though there. So <sighs> let's ditch this stone because we don't really need more stone on us right now. Four. Okay. So I had to go back home to clear my inventory space again. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try and sell some of these crops because So we'll go down to Peary's shop. I can't say his name. The general store. Sell these things and see how much we make because we really need to upgrade our backpack if we're doing the mine stuff. Hi, let me sell stuff. Oh, so close. All right, let me go see what I, stuff I can find around foraging. See if I can get two crowns. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So we finally got there. Now, we let's buy a bag. Yay! It has been increased, and now we need ten grand. Not enough money. So. Let's go back to the mines. Continue mining. So now we got to go through all this again. Get back, back to our, where we were. 
Okay, drop Jess. Attack the rocks with a pick with an axe. Now with these, we use that. Cool. Gyo. So we need to go back down. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get to level 10 and then I'll come back. So pause my recording and then I'll be back. I reach level 10. Okay, so I reached level 5. I forgot to mention as well, we did have a quest to reach level 5. So now we've actually got a quest to go deeper into the mines to reach level 40. So once again, we just level 5. We need to let's go to level 10 before we go home and sleep. Not that it matters. Just got to keep an eye on our time. So nice having a big infantry space when you're mining as well. Which I need to go. We're good to do the other thing. But then yeah, no, we can get to level 5. 10 first. So fine. You'll notice the elevators are locked every 5 levels too. Alright, let me find the stairs here and then we will go. I'll be back. And we've reached level 10. And we're almost at level 10. So let's go down. Badum. We got a chest. Yay. Alright, open the. We get leather boots. So let's put the leather boots on. Go. Alright, now we'll head home. So we got the second floor, we can just go straight home. So we'll head home. Meet you when we get home. Hey guys, we're back home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this random stuff in this chest for the time being. And save my game and I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Night all. Oh, level 2. Mining efficiency. Yay. So, we'll see what we get from it. Oops. 35 grand. Considering we managed to go savage around for a while, selling stuff. There we go. Oh, I'll, I'll show you guys this thing before we go as well. Uh, hi there. Basically, because we've been in the mines. Fine. Furnace. So, we'll craft a furnace in the next episode and I'll show you guys all of that stuff. So now we go to a journal and craft a furnace. Oh, what have we got in our mail? So basically we need to slay 10 slimes as well. So we'll do that in the next episode as well. Egg festival, we'll do that tomorrow as well. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next episode then. Bye. Have fun.